How's it going everyone? It's Ethan from eTrailer here today with a look at the Rhino Rack roof rack system on our 2021 Mercedes-Benz GLE. This roof rack system features crossbars that are 49 inches in length and use a raised rack tower. So this rack here will hold up to 165 pounds and can hold most of your accessories that you're going to need including kayaks, roof boxes, and roof baskets. We're going to go ahead and measure our overhang. Um, like I said before, the crossbars themselves are 49 inches, but we're going to measure the distance that it's going to hang over your car. For the front, we're looking at just about two inches on the nose. And in the back here, a uh, little bit closer to three inches, almost three inches exactly. So it tapers a little bit on this car. Another measurement we're going to take is from the top of our roof to the bottom of our rack, which comes in at just about two and a half inches. The next measurement we're going to take is from, again, the roof, but this time to the, to the top of our rack, rather, and that's coming in at just about three inches, so that's something to keep in mind as you're putting accessories on, just to make sure that there's enough clearance here and that it won't scratch up the top of your roof. One thing you're going to notice, and is in the name, is this arrow shape that they promote. It's got a little taper in the front and in the back. It's going to cut down on the wind resistance and reduce some of the sound that's coming in from the roof of your car. As you can see here, now that we've removed our end cap, it features a Vortex strip that is removable and customizable in the event that you want to put any of your T-Rack accessories in there. One thing I'll note is if you do that, you're probably going to want to go ahead and pick up another strip because you will actually physically have to cut it. Part of the system is these towers or feet. As you can see, they have these little rubberized sides that really clamp down on your raised roof rack. Now we're going to get into the install process. It's fairly straightforward, doesn't take very much time at all. The system features a key and a wrench that it provides, but you're going to want to go ahead and grab a tape measure just to make sure that you get all the measurements you're going to need. So for the installation here, as you can see, we already have our back rack taken care of. We're going to start up here by getting the tower set up. So you're just going to go ahead and slide this guy underneath. This part will turn a little bit, so you're going to want to make sure that that's straight as you slide it in. Give yourself just a couple of inches of overhang and we'll fix that later. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open this up and we'll get this loaded up on the roof. So we're gonna go ahead and lift this on over. I'm gonna use the seam in between the doors as sort of a visual cue for myself. And we're gonna to try to find that on the other side and slide this back if you need to. We're gonna go ahead and get a measurement for our crossbar spread. Here we have about 28 inches. So in our case, in most cases, that'll work for most of your accessories that you're going to be putting on the roof rack. For our case here, it actually is good enough to where it's not going to block the moonroof, so that's just an added bonus. We have 28 inches as our crossbar spread on this side. You're going to go, want to go ahead and verify on the other side that it's 28 inches as well, just so everything's parallel and lined up. Now we're going to go ahead and measure our overhang. So from the front here, we're looking at an about a half an inch. We're going to go ahead and verify that that's the same on the other side. Now we're going to go ahead and tighten it down. So the provided tool actually has this torque lever. So you can see as you turn it, this will straighten out. And once it becomes a straighter line, that's how you know it's a pretty solid torque and you don't want to go any further than that. We're going to go ahead and put in our end caps now. They lock with this provided plastic key. Now would be a good time to mention that you can upgrade to a metal core instead if you want a little bit more security. After you get the end cap on, you can go ahead and give it a quick shake, make sure everything is nice and secure. Once you have that, it's just about installed and you're ready to hit the road. All things considered, I think it's a great rack. If smaller form factor is something that you're considering in the case of having a Mercedes, that might be something that you're interested in. If you would rather have a little bit more overhang, this does have a 54 inch option as well. So that was a look at the Rhino Rack Roof Rack system on the 2021 Mercedes-Benz GLE.